Hey folks, <clears throat> just want to show off my new toy that I got today. This is a Sundance uh, bottom mount pollen trap. It's something new I'm going to try out my little beekeeping venture here, try to harvest some pollen. Um, so this one's designed to mount on your bottom board where the bees, and the reason I bought this one is because all my bees enter through the bottom board. I don't have any top entrances. Um, <clears throat> so this one, when you want to harvest pollen, you'll have the, the door up like it is here and the bees will be going in underneath on your regular entrance on your bottom board and then inside they come up below this plate here and have to crawl through a series of screens and they'll come out back here actually and this is the below your frame so this is the bottom of the hive you've got a little drawer here on the back that slides open and close this is where you actually harvest out your pollen granules and again it's on the back of the hive so you don't interrupt you don't interrupt traffic when you go to get your pollen out. so uh, I'm new to this I don't know a lot about it any more than what I've read online um, but we're going to get her set up on a hive here and uh, hopefully start harvesting some pollen. So here it is on the hive. <clears throat> I chose to put it on this hive because this is this is actually a big colony. Um, <clears throat> they've got brood in all boxes. <clears throat> but it's not one of my um, dedicated honey hives. So I didn't want to put this on a honey hive for fear that I, you know, I don't want to slow down, potentially slow down honey flow. Uh, some people say that queen excluders can slow down honey flow. I kind of agree with that. You know, just any sort of blockage, I'd rather not run on the hive if I wanted to work quick and fast, but you know, obviously for this you kind of have to create a blockage to get that pollen. So, see the bees are really buzzing around the front now, they're trying to kind of figure it out. You know, the entrance to them is the same, but then once they crawl inside they're going to get confused and they've got to figure that out. But uh, it looks like there's actually a good bit of little, good little bit of pollen coming in. And uh, again, so right now this, this little door is up. If I want to stop harvesting pollen, I just turn this little screw and this door will drop down and it opens up an entrance right here where the bees can just uh, walk right in without having to go to the screens. And then on the back, you've just got your little door here. Slide your little trap door open, and uh, I'll be darned. No pollen yet, none yet, but it's only been on there for about a minute. So, you know, we'll check. Uh, we'll check back maybe once I'm done working the bees. Now we'll check see if there's anything in there, and um, you know, check back tomorrow and hopefully I've got some pollen. 